Hey there, I'm Allie Reddy and you're watching Ready Fit TV, the place where you learn how to live a radiantly healthy life without diets, without restriction, and without shame. And in today's episode, we're talking about what causes somebody to be hangry. I seriously haven't eaten food in like an hour and a half. I'm pretty sure I could eat a small child right now. Seriously, doesn't my husband know that I cannot be away from the house for more than two hours? A girl's gotta eat. Babe, I'm sorry for the things I said when I was hangry. I hope I'm not the only one. Do you yell at your husband when you're hangry? No, just me, okay. Sound familiar? Surprisingly, this was my reality for years, especially during my restrictive days. I never left the house without a snack because I knew that that hunger was gonna strike. So have you ever wondered what really causes hanger? Have you ever asked yourself, does everyone get hangry? Well, the answer is, depends on the crowd that you hang out with. I used to live with hanger. Does that not totally sound like a disease? For years, thinking it was normal. A lot of the people in the fitness industry talked about it, so I just figured, well, everyone must feel this way. It wasn't until years later that I realized, gosh, I really don't get hangry anymore. I wonder why that is. Your body gets fuel from two sources, fat and carbohydrates. Carbohydrates turn to glucose, which then circulates your bloodstream. Fat gets stored and is often the thing that most people wish could be used up first. When you've got a good metabolism, your body knows to switch from carbohydrates right after a meal to then using fat about three to five hours later. Often those who choose to eat between five and six meals a day are training their body to rely heavily on carbohydrates. Let's be clear that carbohydrates are not the issue here. The issue is the amount of meals that are being eaten throughout the day. Bunk something that you've often heard once and for all. There is no greater benefit to eating five to six meals a day as there is to eating just three meals a day. In fact, the five to six meals a day could be one of the major sources of your hanger. So what can you do to avoid hanger altogether? Eat and snack less frequently and rely less on carbohydrates and more on protein and fats. They're gonna be a lot more satisfying. They also help your blood sugar levels stay more stable, so you're not gonna feel those large peaks and valleys. Things are gonna stay rather streamlined. This way, your hunger will develop gradually without those crazy mood swings. Be patient because it typically takes about a week to a couple of weeks to adapt. It'll feel normal to get hungry at all your old meal times. Eventually, as you begin eating larger meals, your body will adapt and it will actually start burning that stored fat as fuel. I know this can seem like an overwhelming transition, but trust me, once I made it, I realized how much more fun it was to know that I could be out and about and not have that gigantic hunger strike. Now when I get hungry, it comes on gradually and I have time to get food when I need it. I can also go a lot longer between meal times, so I'm not constantly having to think about food. Have you experienced hanger lately? I would love to know in the comments below. What does that feel like for you? Did you find this video helpful? Well, then I hope that you'll consider sharing it with your friends. Make sure to subscribe to my channel because I release new videos every Thursday. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.